Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take the parts that do resonate. If it does not, leave the parts that do not resonate, as those may be meant for someone else. All right, so we're going to look at what you may possibly be struggling with. What's the conflict? That one popped right out. Hearing the message. All right. What does Capricorn need to look at? Taking a break. Sometimes when we step away, we can hear the message, right? If we keep ourselves in an energy, we're not hearing the message. We're not really seeing what's going on. Future energies is the Empress. What's coming in for you is the Empress, um, which is that growth. A lot of growth, kind of realizing, okay, what do I need to do to hear, message, hear the message? Um, stepping away from situations. All right, we're going to get the Lenormand. Lenormand. All right, we have the... It doesn't matter if those are upside down. I don't, I don't read those upside down if people do. I must have the whole deck upside down. All right, and then we have the rider message, message coming in. Look at that. We have message here, message here, and then direction, feeling guided, the direction, knowing what it is that you want to do. I love that. Clarity, clarity here. Clarity is coming here. There's confusion now. You're not hearing the message. You're not seeing things. You're not understanding things. What is the message for Capricorn? We have... The message of stability, that's what it is, is the home, right? That stability, feeling safe, feeling secure, feeling confident in your own skin. Um, feeling like you're, I feel like you're feeling off. We have the Eight of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. Wah! <laughs> uh, we have Ace of Pentacles. I feel that... There's a situation that you need to walk away from, but I feel like you're torn on whether you should do it or not. Um, or how you go about it. Sometimes we know what we want to do, but we just don't know how to initiate it. We don't know how to go about it. Um, that we get confused by, you know, we have, it's almost like we overthink the situation and then it's like you start to do something and then you stop yourself. Because you're thinking of all the possibilities. How is that person going to react? What does that mean for me? Where is that going to go? What am I going to do? What if I this? What if I that? Right? And then you start to go crazy with it. We have the world. We have the three of wands. And page of swords. That Looking towards the future that sometimes there's difficult things that you have to handle. There's Sometimes there's difficult choices that you have to make. And we can't always have it where everything is always easy. We would like everything to be easy. We would like everything to be rainbows and unicorns. But there are situations that we're going to have to handle that are not going to be the easiest. But it's kind of like looking towards the future and saying, is this the energy that I want to stay in? Is this where I want to be? Is this is what I always want to deal with? And what does that look like for me moving forward? And it's almost like stepping away and saying, okay, if I keep myself in this energy and I keep myself in this situation, what does that look like? But if I handle a difficult situation and, and I take care of things and I deal with some things and we, I start to go for those changes, what does that look like? What does that feel like? I feel that there's some sort of communication that you need to have with someone. Um, it could also be just writing things down because we have the writer, which is that message. Um, but I, you know, so I'm, I'm thinking pen and paper, but it could be, like I said before, journaling or scripting or writing things down. And it could be that communication with yourself and being honest with yourself and saying, okay, do I have to make some changes? Do I have to do something here, right? What's going to work best for me? Again, the Three of Swords. Three of Swords loves Capricorn. Um, we have the King of Pentacles, and then we have the, it's like, almost stepping away but then coming back together right um we have the three of swords and then we have the king of pentacles so being patient and working things through and 
Because that's what the King of Pentacles is, is. He's somebody who's very patient. He figures things out. He works things through. But then it's like that we have the partnership where it's coming back together and now you feel guided, right? Now you feel like, okay, now I can work together. Now I know what I need to do. Now I know where I need to go. Now I know what the best choice is for me. Um, okay, let's get some more cards. Let's see, I think I want to do these. Facing a situation, right? Facing the situation. If you're struggling with something, what is it? Is it that security, right? That feeling safe, feeling like everything's going to be okay. We all struggle with those things now and again. We all have those struggles. Sometimes they seem bigger than, than they seem bigger at sometimes more than others. All right, we have the nine of pentacles okay you can't see we have the page of swords again and we have the nine of pentacles we have the page of swords and then we have the eight of swords there i think you can see everything Again, we have the Page of Swords, which is handling a difficult situation, right? Figuring out, because that, that's what the struggle is, is how do I handle the situation? How do I say it? How do I move past it? How do I move on from it? What is the truth of the situation? How are you truly feeling about the situation? What do you really want to have happen? So, like I said before, sometimes we have to sit down and we have to figure out, okay, what do I really want to have happen? What do I really want to do? It's not to say that, like, if you make a choice to do something, right? You've made a choice to do something. Maybe you've made a choice to be in a relationship with someone or you made a choice to choose a job, right? Or go back to school. But then you get into it and then you decide, you know what? This isn't the right thing for me. It doesn't mean that you're wrong for saying, oh, I don't feel that same way anymore, that I don't want to, you know, continue with the schooling or this education or this job or this relationship or, you know, whatever it is that you may have decided. And it, I feel like it's, it's not wrong that you made the, at that time, that was a choice and that was the decision that you wanted to do. But things change. People grow, new opportunities come in, new feelings come in, feelings go away and feelings change. And it doesn't mean that you were wrong in what you did to start with. It just means that you've changed and you want something different, that you want to pursue something different, that you want to seek something different, or you want change within it. That's what I was just saying is to, that to not worry about that, well, I made this choice before and, you know, why am I not following through with it or what's changed? Like, yeah, you can ask yourself those questions, but also realizing is that humans are always evolving and changing. We have lots of emotions and feelings and, you know, sometimes, you know, like when you're, when you're a kid, sometimes you like, you hate broccoli, right? But then when you're older and you try it, you're like, oh, wow, I like broccoli, right? I mean, just an example. <laughs> um, and things change and that's okay, but it's not keeping yourself in this energy of feeling like you have to be obligated to this situation because you made that choice. Um, obviously if it's something that you have to keep it, like if, it, if it's a job, like you can't just quit it, you have to start searching for other things, right? So if you don't like this job, then, okay, what other job can I have and start applying for other jobs and start looking for other opportunities so that you're not left high and dry. Or if it's, you know, you're in school and you, you start to work towards one degree and then you're like you know what I really don't like that but I think I like something else let me look into classes next semester to look move in that direction right so it doesn't mean that moment that you drop anything but I feel like it's that that feeling of guilt that having to have followed through with that and we go from the nine to the ten of swords which I love that because that represents that progression that you're making that you're seeing okay I recognize that this is the situation and this is how I feel but I don't want to keep myself in this energy and I'm, I'm hearing the message that and this helps you to 
release that burden that you've put on yourself and that guilt because you're no longer feeling a certain way or you're no longer wanting to continue that you know job or that that schooling look at that I love it the judgment card came out again now you're finally hearing the message you've heard the message you've realized that you have to handle a difficult situation because you're looking out for the best for you the truth of the situation is that this no longer is working for you and now you're ready to move forward and you're hearing the message to not keep yourself in that because people in situations changes and look at that there's that grounded energy right that you're and I love the smile on her face there's that grounded energy why because you've heard the message you've heard it and you've understood it and it's clicking and it's making sense to you all right death card love it death card is you were holding on to something that was holding you back but now you're transforming and you're changing again with the empress now you're feeling guided and you're saying okay I'm not going to beat myself up for having made a decision that at the time I felt was right but now I feel that it's not right and that's okay because life is ever changing and evolving that's a that's a big message there that's a huge message all right um So I was looking on my um, door to spirit and the temple path. I feel like it's that inner spirit, that inner guidance, that inner feeling, that inner peace, that inner calmness, knowing that, you know, if this is what you feel that changes wanted to come, that that is that your inner voice that's telling you that you deserve more, or you deserve better, or that you're evolving and changing and maybe, you know, your mind isn't quite with your spirit like your spirit is pushing you forward but your mind is holding you back right and so it's it's that having that connection between the two where they're both working together um okay let's get an energy oracle energy oracle for this reading for Capricorn we have why asking yourself why why are you keeping yourself in in this energy if you're not happy why are you doing these things if you're not happy why are you not taking time to yourself to figure out what you truly want what why are you worrying about things why why is that why are you not hearing the message right why do you feel confused in the direction that you want to go and just ask yourself those questions and answer them truthfully to yourself all right, let's get a Star of Dragons. That one didn't want to go back in. We have freedom, breaking the chains. I love it. That's why it didn't want to go back in is because it's your own personal freedom. You are in charge of your own freedom. You are in charge of the choices and the situations and the directions that you go in your life. Breaking the chains. There were some chains that were holding you back here that you are struggling with letting go of and breaking those chains and having that freedom, right? To have that connection, to hear the message, to feel better, to feel more guided, to have that personal growth, to go after those things that you enjoy and that you want to do. All right, let's get an animal oracle. We have snake spirit, time to heal. Yes, you have to heal after this because this is a big thing that you've done. This is some big changes that you're making and healing yourself or this is part of the process of you healing yourself because you are handling, right, these, um, the Knight of Swords, you're handling that energy, you're handling a difficult situation, you're working through it, you're dealing with it, you're facing, you're facing it and you're coming to terms with it. It's that progress, progression, right? Okay, so let's grab some charms. That one was there. Bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Pedaling towards your future. <laughs> Get on that bicycle and keep pedaling and don't stop. We have the wish one that came out, which is make a wish and success. I love holding and touching that one. It's like, make a wish. 
We have the guitar singing your own song. We have the cake, which is set celebration. We have the protected, feeling protected. Protected one is coming out a lot. Protected, knowing that you are protected. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have butterfly, that transformation and change that you're going through. Definitely I feel that within this. Almost like that skin, like shedding those snake skins and moving on and moving forward. And then we have the heart, which is loving yourself, to sing your own song, to make those wishes and to pursue those and those dreams and to have that personal success, whatever that represents for you, to go after your goals and to keep pedaling and, and don't stop. Right, and celebrating those small wins, celebrating those small moments. See, I think I want to do. I want to do one of my. That one came right out. That one's really pretty. Uh, moonstone, nurturing, divine feminine, intuitive, drawing power from the divine feminine. Moonstone connects you to the goddess energy, activating your intuition. And that's what I was saying is listening to that intuition. Moonstone can boost clairvoyant gifts and metaphysical powers, asking that you trust in the unknown beyond what you can see in this realm. The reflective nature of the crystal is much like the moon phases themselves, a cycle of change from new beginnings to full release. Moonstone balances masculine energy with feminine touch, almost like that yin yang teaching the art of receptivity and serendipity. It is especially potent during the waxing moon, Cancer, Libra, Scorpio moon. All right. Nurturing and being more in tune with yourself and opening those doors to those inner intuition. All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.